Hello there and welcome to the C++ basic tutorial presented to you by the code brewery. I Riddhish Suda is here to help you in the course. In this topic we will learn about C++ basic input output. The C++ standard libraries provide an extensive set of input output capabilities. If you haven't subscribed yet please do like, subscribe, comment and share with your fellow mates. In the C++ standard libraries provide an extensive set of input output capabilities which we will see in some of the coming lectures in this topic we will discuss very basic and most common input output operations which are required for c++ programming c++ input output occurs in streams which are sequences of bytes if bytes flow from a device like a keyboard a disk drive or a network connection etc to main memory this is called input operation and if bytes flow from the main memory to a device like a display screen a printer a disk drive or a network connection etc will be called an output operation let's talk about three header files which are most important in c++ programming now input library header files which are most important are io stream io io manip and f stream and we'll see about them briefly from the name of io stream we can see that input output stream the file contains the c in c out c error and c log objects in iomanip we can see this file declares services useful for performing formatted input output with so called parameterized stream manipulators and f stream is the file declares services for user controlled file processing if we talk about the standard output stream c out the predefined object c out is an instance of o stream class the c out object is said to be connected to the standard output device which usually is the display screen the c out is used in conjunction with the stream insertion operator which is written as two less than symbols which are two less than signs as shown in the example now the c++ compiler also determines the data type of variable to be output and selects the appropriate stream insertion operator to display the value the operator is always uh, is overloaded to output data items of built in types integer float double strings and pointer values the insertion operator may be used more than once in a single statement and endl is used to add a new line at the end of a line if we talk about the standard input stream c in the predefined object c in is an instance of i stream class the c in object is said to be attached to the standard input device which is usually the keyboard the c in used in conjunction with the stream extraction operator which is written as uh, two greater than symbols the C++ compiler also determines the data type of the entered value and selects the appropriate stream extraction operator or to extract the value and store it in the given variables. The stream extraction operator may be used more than once in a single statement. Now, we'll go move on to the next section. If we talk about the standard error stream C error the predefined object c error is an instance of o stream class it is pronounced as c error since it is like c e r r c error the c error object is said to be attached to the standard error device which is also a display screen but the object c error is an unbuffered and each stream insertion to c error causes the causes its output to appear immediately now we can use c error in conjunction with the stream insertion operator as you do with the c out if we talk about the standard log stream c log the predefined object c log is an instance of o stream class the c log object is said to be attached to the standard error device which is also a display screen but the object c log is buffered this means that each insertion to c log could cause its output to be held in a buffer until the buffer is filled or until the buffer is flushed the c log is also used in conjunction with the stream insertion operator as used with the c out now you would not be able to see any difference in c out c error and c log with the some such a small examples which i have given 
but while writing and executing the programs the differences become obvious so it is good practice to display error messages using c array stream and while displaying the other log messages then c log should be used okay so that was the wrap for the topic i do hope you understood the topic well please do like subscribe comment and share with your fellow mates if you didn't find anything or you want something to be made video on please do like in the write in the comment section